Yeah. Hey, YouTube. So um, we decided to take our uh, um, Jeep and trailer over a cat scale to get a wade. It was something that we had been wanting to do in a while. So uh, um, the importance of this is um, stickers always lie. Um, well, they don't always lie, but you can't trust uh, a sticker. Um, if the sticker on your vehicle says that it weighs a certain amount, or if you think that it weighs that certain amount, you don't actually know um, until you actually put it on a scale and weigh it. It's kind of like uh, trying to guess your own weight without actually owning a scale anywhere in your house and never stepping on a scale. Um, you can always kind of guess what your weight is, but you'll always be surprised when you uh, you jump on the scale and see that it's something else. So um, the easiest way to do the cat scale th thing for me was I went in and I spoke to the lady that actually ran the cat scale, and I told her that I wanted to weigh it. And so then, uh, you know, I went out and uh, I weighed it, and you know, I spoke to her um, over the over um, intercom. Uh, but basically, um, you go out to the cat scale, you pull up on it, you push a button, and then when they come up, they ask you, um, you know, if if the um, what company um, the vehicle's with or whatever, and you tell them private, and then. They, unless you, you know, are, you're a commercial vehicle, and then um, they ask you the, for a truck number, and then you pick a random number, and then you go in and you tell them like what the number was, and they can look it up in the computer. I didn't even give her a number because she knew who I was um, on the speaker, and everything. So uh, here we are. We are going to um, jump on the cat scale, and I'll switch over to the um, audio that's in the um, camera, so you can actually hear us um, talking to Lady. So basically we have to get the axles like between the yellow lines. Okay. So basically the front wheel has to be on that front one. Okay. Like in front of the on the front one and then the back the second tire has to be on the second one. Okay. Just like that. Alright. Not so good. And what you need to I guess you just need to be standing on the thing. I just need to stand on the thing. It doesn't matter. I think I have to push the button. Okay. Hey, so I froze the video here just to be clear. Um, the front axle, the front two wheels, need to be in front of that first yellow line. Then the um, the back wheels to the vehicle need to be between the two yellow lines. And then the trailer needs to be on that last plate, um, just how it is in the video, um, exactly like that. That's how you need to have your vehicle lined up. Is this a military man? Uh, no, this is a private vehicle. I spoke to you a few minutes ago. I have a Jeep with a trailer. All right, I got you. You can come on inside for that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And that's it. Just going. Now okay. you just gotta find a place to park. Yeah. Hey, so you go in and then they uh, they give you the slip when you pay them the twelve dollars, and uh, this is a uh, the actual slip that that I got when I uh, got my vehicle weighed. And the important um, things to, to look at is it says um, steer axle. That's how much weight was on that front plate, or how much um, weight was on my front axle. Drive axle. That's that middle plate that tells you how much weight is pushing down on your rear axle. And then trailer axle is a big giant plate that they had, the, the third scale. Um, and then the bottom gives you the, the big number. And I'm going to um, try to show you um, on the Jeep. So if you open the door to your vehicle, it should have on there the um, GAWR for the front and rear axle of your vehicle. So basically, these numbers on your vehicle should be bigger than the, the, the first two numbers on the, the yellow sheet of paper, um, each individually and combined if you add them together. Hey, I'm going to try to explain to you how, how all these uh, acronym numbers work and fit together. Okay, so at the bottom you have a thing called the uh, um, unloaded vehicle weight, or sometimes they refer to the curb weight, and you'll have that on both the trailer by itself and you'll have that on the Jeep by itself. Then you'll have a thing called the carrying capacity or the payload. Um, sometimes they'll tell you what that is. 
Um, when you put those together, um, they should equal the gross vehicle weight rating of the vehicle. So if um, you're going to buy like a Jeep or a trailer or whatever you're going to buy, if they will tell you the curb weight and they tell you the gross vehicle weight, but they won't tell you the carrying capability of the vehicle, you can just do some simple subtraction. Um, you just get the GVWR, you subtract it from the UVWR, and that will give you the CCC um, or the payload, how much you can put in there. And you'll be surprised to find out that on most trailers, uh, um, payload, like travel trailers and stuff, the payload is about 2,000 pounds. That's all that you can put in it. The same goes for uh, motorhomes and stuff like that. So then um, if you uh, look at the cat scale numbers to say, well, let's see um, what the cat scale numbers um, really mean. Um, this tells you the maximum weight that you can put on any given axle. And this is ratings based on the tires and the wheels and like all this kind of different stuff. Um, but basically you're comparing um, what you have on the door, which for me, um, it's 2775 versus 2840. Um, so I'm overweight on the front axle. Um, 3200 versus 3920, I'm really overweight on the rear axle. And this is when I weighed it. Obviously, I've moved stuff around since then and taken some stuff out. Um, and then if you add those numbers together, the, the front and the rear axles, that will give you what they call the GVWR, the gross vehicle weight of the entire tow vehicle, like the Jeep or the truck or whatever it is. Um, and once again, you can see on the, the vehicle itself, the tow vehicle, is over. Then they get another number they give you um, on the CAT scale was at 3460, and you can rewind and look at my sticker if you, know, my, um, if you want to see where these numbers are coming from. The 3460 um, was the weight of the trailer, and because I have a Jeep Rubicon, um, it's rated for 3,500 pounds, and you can verify this by looking in the owner's manual. Not all Jeeps can tow like that exact amount. It has to do with like packaging, tow packages, and axles, and ratings, and all this kind of stuff. Um, but you can see that clearly um, I am not over the um, weight restriction for how much I can tow. The other um, thing that you can look at at this point is you can get the yellow sticker that's on the door of your trailer, and you can see what the uh, maximum um, weight rating is is for the trailer itself, um, the GVWR for the trailer. So that's a different GVWR. And that number should be also um, larger than the 3460 that I have on my sticker. Um, and it is on mine. And then if you add all these numbers together, so if you either um, basically add all the three yellow ones together, it will give you the fourth yellow one. And they did that for you on the CAT scale paper ready. Um, that number should be smaller than what they call the gross combined weight rating. And the gross combined weight rating um, can be determined um, if you can't find that anywhere by simply adding your tow and co capability basically to the gross vehicle weight rating. And those two combined should give you your gross combined weight rating if you can't find it anywhere. Um, but you should be able to find these numbers on websites. You should be able to find them in your owner's manual. You might be able to find them on the stickers um, in your, if you open the door and look in the door frame of the driver's seat, um, you might be able to find some of these numbers, if not all of them. For my Jeep, not all the numbers are there. But that's how all these numbers kind of fit together. Um, hopefully this helps you out. Um, and if you decide to go weigh your trailer, you can determine if you need to, to move some stuff around. The other thing to keep in mind is these numbers, this is not the weight of the Jeep itself, even though it looks like it is. This is the weight of the Jeep with the trailer attached to it. So like five to 10% of the trailer's weight is gonna be um, pushing down on the back of the, of the Jeep also. So the Jeep will be lighter by just unhooking the trailer, obviously. Um, so because you have that kind of transference, um, the answer isn't necessarily, let's just put everything in the trailer, um, because if you load up the trailer too heavy, um, well, the trailer will first off be too heavy, but also you have to remember that 5 to 10% of it comes back to the Jeep or the tow vehicle um, in pin weight or hitch weight. Um, so... That's how all these numbers hook together, um, and it will give you an idea of if you've overloaded your vehicle or underloaded the vehicle um, and how much more space um, you have. The one thing to keep in mind is a lot of the motorhomes and stuff, um, they try to hide from you the payload, that CCC, and you have to be kind of sneaky with finding the curb weight or the UVW and then the GVW, and you have to do the subtraction of, to, to find it. And you'll be really, really surprised to find that um, there are a lot of RVs on the market that uh, you know that are motorhomes, and you're supposedly you know you're only allowed to put like 1,500 pounds like in them until you're overweight, um, and that includes your body weight, like you you know you, your husband, um, or wife, um, your kids, your dog, like all that gets added um, on top of like. It, they don't make any special reservations for passengers like that has to be included in the, in the payload weight so uh, hopefully this helps you out and hopefully you go get your vehicle weighed and figure out uh, um, the best way to travel
Anyway, uh, I know that a lot of these numbers can be confusing for people that are new trailer owners or new people towing and stuff. It took a while for me to figure it out. Um, if you have any kind of questions at all, feel free to leave a comment, and I will try my best to try to answer it for you um, to the best of my ability. Um, so please uh, um, like and subscribe. That would really help out also. Uh, but, uh, you know, go get your vehicle uh, weighed. It's not that hard, and uh, figure out where you're at. So um, thank you.